buy. So many people are so full of it these polls, and you watch what people do. You don't listen to what they say. Because we're in PC world now where everybody's virtue signaling and saying the thing that's appropriate in public. John and Ken, watch what they do. We did two to six on KFI. KFI live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. KFI. Los Angeles, Orange County, live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. I'm Andrew Caravella from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. Thousands of people lined a five-and-a-half-mile parade route in Pasadena to watch the 133rd Rose Parade with LeVar Burden as Grand Marshal and performances by Leanne Rimes and Jimmy Allen. This guy says he's so happy the parade is back. Last year I was so sad that I got, it was canceled, you know, I love the parade, I love going to it every year, it's so much fun, all the bands, all the horses, all the floats, especially the floats, how beautiful they are. The floats will be on display this afternoon and all day tomorrow along Sierra Madre and Washington Boulevard. Visitors have to wear masks and show proof of vaccination or a recent negative COVID test. Six people have been hurt during a shooting at a grocery store in South LA. The shooting happened on Friday at the Superior Grocer Store on Avalon Boulevard. Some of those hurt were shot. The shooters got away in a car. A man has been killed in a car crash on the 10th Freeway in West Sabina. The crash happened around 11.40 last night near Holt Avenue. Traffic and pedestrian stops by California cops have dropped more than 26% in 2020 compared to this year before. California's Racial and Identity Profiling Advisory Board reports show black people are more likely than any other racial or ethnic group to be searched, detained, and handcuffed. Three people are missing and more than a thousand homes and businesses have been destroyed in the massive wind with wildfires that tore through Boulder County, Colorado. Sheriff Joe Kelly says they don't believe the missing will be found alive. We're calling in cadaver dogs and search suits to help us with an effort tomorrow. The structures where the folks would be are completely destroyed. The area is now covered in about eight inches of snow, which Sheriff Pelly says is making search efforts more difficult. And a law that goes into effect today will make some more surprise medical bills illegal. People with medical emergencies often receive bills from doctors they didn't choose who didn't accept their insurance. Those bills cost consumers billions each year, but the New York Times reports that the new consumer protection law eliminates that risk of extra bills from out-of-network doctors or hospitals. It covers nearly all emergency medical services and most routine care. You still pay for things like a deductible or co-payment, but after that normal payment, you shouldn't expect any more bills. KFI weather, Sunday will be clear with highs in the mid-50s to low 60s for the beaches, Metro LAOC, and the valleys and IE. The high deserts can expect upper 40s to 50s. Monday will get a little colder as highs drop to the 40s and low 50s across the Southland. Right now, Woodland Hills 41, Bellflower 46, Yorba Linda 47, and in San Bernardino, it is 43 degrees. We live local. From the KFI 24-hour newsroom, I'm Andrew Caravella. Checking KFI traffic, we do have a crash in the Burbank area on the 5 southbound of Burbank Boulevard as the two left lanes block. In Corona, 91 West on a Green River crash there has only left lane open. New Glendale on the 134 West on the two crash there along the right shoulder. As the Cerritos on the 91 West on the 605 a crash there along the right shoulder. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Jonathan Weiss. When Kelly and I needed new windows over 20 years ago, we took the company we thought would do a good job. We were so disappointed. So we saw a genuine need for a company with strong character, one that people could have faith in. American Vision Windows was born right then and there. The best thing about working for American Vision Windows, and the customers specifically, is having their dreams come true. And we try to accomplish the best job we can to make them happy. It was a great experience. I couldn't have asked for anything better. I've been in the construction trade for 35 years. The level of quality of products that they use for their prep work was top notch. American Vision Windows continues to revolutionize the home improvement industry one customer at a time while changing the lives of our employees for the better. It's so simple. Happy employees. Pick It Up is an initiative to activate student-powered teacher-led learning projects. How can you spark great learning experiences in your classrooms today? Join us at thinkitup.org.
The holiday shopping season is almost here, and small business owners need a plan to get those social holiday shoppers to their door. Feature your plan includes radio ads from iHeartAdBuilder.com. Radio lets you reach customers wherever they go, at home or in their car. And at iHeartAdBuilder, you can create an affordable custom radio ad right on your phone. Just click, listen, approve, then view it on air. Get ready for the holidays today with a customized ad from iHeartAdBuilder.com. With school back in session, there's plenty to worry about. CalHOPE can help with free COVID-19 emotional support. Call 833-317-4673 or live chat at calhope.org today. People often struggle with debt, maybe more so during the pandemic. Abby Stimson with the National Association of Attorneys General shares advice on getting out of debt. Many people face financial crisis at some point in their lives. Whether the crisis is caused by personal or family illness, the loss of a job, or something else, it can seem really overwhelming. If you or someone you know is in financial trouble, explore all options. Sometimes a little self-help is enough, like making a realistic budget and then making changes accordingly. If that doesn't work, contact your creditors and try to work out a modified payment plan that reduces your payments to a more manageable level. But don't wait until your accounts have been turned over to a debt collector. At that point, your creditors have given up on you. If you need more help, you might want to consider credit counseling, which you can often find by starting with a local college or university, credit union, extension office, or military base. Learn more at ftc.gov slash debt. As parents, we've done everything we can to keep our kids safe, happy, and healthy during this pandemic. From finding the best face mask, and making sure their hands are clean. And now we have the best tool to help keep them even safer. The most important thing we can do is vaccinate our kids to protect them against COVID-19. Vaccines have been proven safe and effective for children fighting up. Talk to your child's doctor and visit myturn.ca.gov to find a vaccine near you. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. If your New Year's resolution includes getting in shape, make step one, downloading the free iHeartRadio app. Whether your goal is balancing mind and body or ramping up the intensity to beast mode, we've got the music to get you moving and keep you motivated with dozens of specially curated workout playlists from rock pump up to yogi music. Just put your headphones on and tap playlists to get started on reaching your goals. iHeart, discover music, radio, and podcasts you'll love. mechanicars.com before you purchase your new automobile this holiday season. Good morning, everyone. This is KFI AM 640. More stimulating talk. Don't forget that you can catch KFI everywhere and anytime on the iHeartRadio app. Mm. My name is Oscar yeah, Rodriguez, the host of The Daily Dive, a daily news podcast covering some of the top stories making waves in the news. You can catch a new episode of The Daily Dive Monday through Friday on iHeartRadio, and it's ready for you when you wake up. Here on the Daily Dive Weekend Edition, I'll be bringing you some of the best shows I've ever during the week. No, you're not crazy. We are spending more time in those fast food drive throughs and they're also a little less accurate. A new study done with mystery shoppers found that we're spending about a minute more in these lines than we were last year. And when it comes to accuracy, Chick-fil-A and Taco Bell are top of the list. For more on what to know, we'll speak to Amelia Lucas, Restaurant reporter at CNBC.com. So this is the first time in the drive through between 382 seconds, which is nearly a minute longer than two minutes time. According to this annual report from Two Level which does kind of an annual study and that mystery shoppers to different fast food chains to test their drive throughs yeah, so we're spending, it's like about six minutes or so, I guess, total is what it seems to be about. But yeah, they, they used mystery shoppers, they sent them to drive throughs across 10 chains, and I think it was about 1,400 restaurants in total. So that's what they're seeing, is that we're just spending that little bit more time. Why do they think that is? What, what is the behind all of it? So there's a couple of different reasons why this could be happening. Number one is the fact that Americans are just using drive through lanes a lot more than they were before the pandemic. You know, they're just more crowded, so if it's a longer line, you're going to be waiting more time for your food. Two, there's a labor shortage right now, a labor crunch. Restaurants are having a really hard time finding enough workers to staff, and so that means, you know, there aren't as many people in the kitchen filling your orders, and might be uh, people juggling a few more tasks than they normally would. 
And on that front, real quick, uh, newer workers, right? We've seen the labor shortage, but if you're having a lot of turnover, newer employees, they might not know the system right. You know, that could box things down as well. Yeah, definitely. If they haven't had as much training or as much time for training as well, it certainly makes things a lot more difficult. A third potential reason, too, is that a lot of fast food chains last year kind of came down their menus, got rid of things that weren't selling as well because they couldn't have as many workers in their kitchen. But now they started to bring so many items back, and that just, you know, makes it, again, more difficult for the workers to complete orders as fast as they need to. As I mentioned at the beginning, the order accuracy dropped also for this last year. What did it drop to, and, and who's doing it right? Like, who are the best ones that are getting the orders right? So now about 85% of fast food orders are fulfilled correctly compared to 87% last year. And half of the list this year for accuracy was Chick-fil-A, and then Taco Bell, which is owned by Young Brands, came in second. Yeah, and then I guess there was a tie between Arby's, Carl's Jr., and Burger King. Those all tied for third place. You know, that's just an interesting thing. I, I guess part of it, they say, obviously, improve the technology that they're doing with, you know, those little digital menus that kind of read out what your order are just so you can kind of confirm along the way. Those are very helpful in getting those orders right. Did we see who did it right when it came to speed as far as, like, less time spent in those drivers? Yeah, so unfortunately this year they did not publicly show the rankings for each of the 10 restaurants and how well they did in terms of speed. But last year KFC was at the top of the list, which makes sense because, you know, putting chicken in buckets is definitely much faster than a hand flipping some burgers. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you got to cook the chicken beforehand and whatnot. I, I'd be curious to see what that list is. You know, one of my favorites, I live in California, obviously, in and out I love going there, but man, anytime you you get into an in and out line, you're going to be there for a while. And depending at the time of day, the line is into the street in a lot of places. So so that's a very tough one to get through. Unfortunately, in and out was not one of the countries that was uh, surveyed because they're not national. But, you know, I certainly, I wonder about some of the other ones that didn't make the list as well, like Starbucks. Yeah. That, oh, yeah, that's good. I'm not even thinking about this. You know, I'm thinking more along the food line and not even thinking about Starbucks. And, and tons of people go there. So, yeah, just a lot of interesting information there. I mean, if you're spending any time in a drive through you're spending a lot more time in there. Amelia Lucas, restaurant reporter at CNBC.com. Thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> Worker burnout has been an issue for some time now. But the pandemic has shown many people just how much their work has taken a toll on their lives. With constant meetings and new pressures, people are struggling to take control. Unfortunately, sometimes it could take a life-changing event to realize it. For more on why you should care a little less to get your life back, we'll speak to Rachel Feinstein, work and life columnist at the Wall Street Journal. I'm not talking about slacking off. I'm not talking about like napping all day or, you know, I did a story a couple weeks back about, you know, having two jobs and kind of being in the system. I'm really just talking about having some emotional distance from your job, being able to say no to little things that don't matter, figuring out what actually matters and what doesn't. And what one expert told me, she was like, if you're having to ask yourself this question, like if, if you're kind of like inherently like an overachiever and a little into obsessed with work, she was like, you could probably take it down like 25% and you'd still be doing a good job. And that really resonated with me. And that's so hard for a lot of people, right? We uh, tend to let our jobs become our identities in many parts of it. And it's just really hard to detach. You know, how many times do you hear, learn to love what you do or you know the grind never stops you know all these things that you know just kind of more firmly put you into that mode of, uh, of thinking you can never really stop doing that stuff and a lot of times to gain some of the perspective sometimes something major has to happen you open your story with a, a man who is 45 years old pretty young and he had a heart attack and that was the catalyst for him to really say okay i need to change things his story was so moving to me. I, I had seen a LinkedIn post that he wrote months ago and immediately thought of him for this piece. He sat down to get started on work, you know, on a Sunday for the prep for the work week, and he had a heart attack. And, like, one of his first thoughts was, like, you know, it was an expletive. I don't know if I can say it on your radio program. I couldn't say it in the Wall Street Journal. But right. he was like, I got to meet with my manager tomorrow. Like, this isn't to me. And he survived and kind of changed his life and changed his perspective. We talked a bunch about what you were talking about, too, just sense that, like, 
your work becomes your job. You're supposed to find purpose and meaning in your work. You know, like that's the thing. And hustle culture, you're supposed to always be improving yourself. Um, and not that those things aren't kind of valuable goals, but I think like we're taking it too far a little bit. So what do we do then? You know, a lot of people say, hey, you know, it's easy to just say change the life, uh, you know, focus less on the unimportant things. Everybody says that's so easy to do, but but how do we get there? What do we, how should we get that perspective? Yeah, when I pretend to just think to myself, like, is this thing really part of my job? Like, really, what would happen if I didn't do it? And yes. some things, like, definitely are part of your job, and you will not get a paycheck if you don't do that. And it varies from person to person, but you know, kind of like, she likened her book is kind of like into the Marie Kondo thing of like, you know, is it the dark story? You know, if not, let it go. And her thing is like, if it's not really important, let it go. And probably your manager will tell you if you like pull back on something that is important. But in, in many cases, we don't even know. We can't even figure out what's important. So everything becomes a fire girl, and then we're kind of just worse than a lot of parts of our job. What should employers be doing? Because sometimes they're jerks and they're not going to care. But there's a lot of employers that do wish to help their employees strike that work-life balance. What should they be doing on their part? You know, companies have done things like give people like bonus days off or bonus weeks off or they've had listening sessions about burnout or needing free days. It's all well intentioned and a good start, but what folks told me was it has to go beyond that. So if you're giving me a week off, you have to like loosen my guest cards and decrease expectations. If people are leaving, you know, the company because we're seeing so many resignations, you need to add more resources to my project in some way, whether that's by bringing on other team members or adding, you know, more audience or technology that could help. You have to really reduce the work in order to put some of these other benefits in. Rachel Feinberg works in life column at the Wall Street Journal. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having me. You're listening to the Daily Dive and yeah, yeah. KFI AM 640 and everyone in the iHeartRadio app. When we come back, we'll tell you why it's so hard to find an original Bob Ross painting on the open market. Hey guys, Broadway here. The only thing that leads you into making a New Year's resolution and instantly forgetting about it is donating your old vehicle to Cars for Kids. The entire process takes about two minutes with a quick call to 1-877-CARS-FOR-KIDS or visit carsforkids.org. They guarantee quick, free pickup of your car and they'll take care of all the paperwork so you don't have to. Plus, you're going to get a tax deduction and a voucher for a three-day, two-night hotel stay. Then go with that hotel stay. To get started, just go to carsforkids.org. That's Cars as the expert in transmission for over 50 years, there's nothing at AMCO we haven't heard. Do I have to go out? It's just a bell. And nothing we can't fix. It's going to be... What's that? From transmissions to brakes and everything in between. No credit? Wow. It's your repair at AMCO. Exclusions apply may not be combined with any other offer. Wow. It's unlawful to purchase fitting centers only. People who know go to AMCO. Double A, MCO. Hi, this is Big Game James Worthy. Before I was a Hall of Fame basketball player, I played basketball at the Boys and Girls Club. So I'm proud to be partnering with Ford to help them make people's lives better in the communities they serve. The Ford Fund is investing in education and community programs in Southern California to support at-risk middle school students. But that's only the start. Learn more about what the Ford Fund is doing around the world today at FordFund.org. Attention investors, want predictable monthly cash flow, like double-digit annualized targeted returns? How about the safety and security of real estate without being a landlord? Peace of mind comes from investing with a 15-year industry leader. Savvy investors are learning about the NRIA Real Estate Development Fund. You should too. Call 800-800-1414. That's 800-800-1414. An offer of securities is only made by the NRIA private placement number and a read it first. Past performance does not guarantee future results. NRIA is a real estate development firm. We're more than NRIA. The helpful Honda dealers were back at it again with another way to match of helpfulness. On the road in to nominate for family. We've been through a tough time since the start of the pandemic. Their house burned down due to an electrical issue, and they lost their father-in-law after a courageous battle with cancer. So the helpful SoCal Honda dealers want to make this Christmas a little merrier for Alma and her family. So they're surprising them with $500 to put towards gifts for her family and children. For more random acts of helpfulness, Father
with SoCal Honda dealers on Facebook. My friend Jacob isn't just the guy you see on TV, hear about on the radio, or see in a billboard. Jacob's a husband, father, and for 25 years been getting amazing results for his injured clients. Jacob's a real person and a real attorney. That's why he's my attorney. Okay. And if you've ever been injured in an accident, he should be your attorney. Call Jacob at 844-24-JACOB. 844-24-JACOB. Or visit calljacob.com. Call Jacob. Yes, I know. I have a calming demeanor. You know when it's your job, basically, to push people beyond their comfort zones? It's good to make them feel as safe as possible. Like an open-heart surgeon for your home. You'll do fine. No worries. We got it. Home with Dean Sharp, the house whisperer, this morning at 9 on KFI AM 640. More stimulating talk. This is KFI AM 640. I'm Oscar Ramirez, and you're listening to the Daily Dive Weekend Edition. Famed TV artist Bob Ross is one of history's most prolific painters, racking up almost 30,000 paintings in his lifetime. But you'd be hard-pressed to find one of his original works in the open market. And there's a few reasons why. First off, Bob Ross Inc., which owns the majority of his work, has him locked away in a warehouse. But they make more money selling paints and painting supplies using his name. Secondly, many of his paintings are already sitting in homes across the country. For more on why it's so hard to find an original Bob Ross painting, we'll speak to Zach Crockett, senior writer at The Hustle. You know, there's been an estimate that's thrown out by a lot of credible people in the Bob Ross state that he turned out about 30,000 paintings in his lifetime. Wow. Now, he painted about 1,100, 1,200 paintings for his TV show, and for each show, he'd do three versions. He'd mock one up before the show, he'd paint one during the show, and then he'd do one afterwards. But then outside of that, long before his TV career, he was selling paintings at flea markets in Alaska. And all through his career, even when he was famous, he'd do these events at malls and training sessions where he'd do these live paintings and either give them away or donate them. So there are a lot of those Bob Ross paintings out there, but in the open market, they're really hard to come by. Let's start off with Bob Ross and, and his life. Personally, I had no clue that he had joined the Air Force, but he was actually a drill sergeant, which totally doesn't match his really calm demeanor on the show. I guess they used to call him Bust Him Up Bobby. All right, that's working for real. Take a little flight. A little bit of the blue. There's a little more clip for titanium white. I don't know if a light blue color. It mostly stay a little blue. Let me just type a little color into the bristles. Three times worse of the marvelous things. Watch this. Watch it. Watch this. Watch this. Thank you, Sam. This is a different room. Yeah, and it's still a huge hit on YouTube. Just kind of in preparation mm -hmm. for us talking today, I just clicked on some random videos. One had about 5 million, another one had 35 million. I think it's like <laughs> over 450 million views total or something like that. I mean, it's just amazing yeah, kind yeah. of how long all of these videos. 